Peace, Love, and Light Scorpios picked out the deck out of the box. And this is what you got on the bottom of the deck. Prosperity, beloveds. So, congratulations. A lot of opulence, expansion. Some of y'all may have just recently received a new job, a new promotion, pay increase, a bonus. Some sort of windfalls of money. Something's expanding financially for you. Maybe some of you have, uh, you know, signed some contracts and you are making some really lucrative business deals. Maybe some of your investments are starting to pay off. There's a return. So this is beautiful. Right now we have um, J. Cole playing Love Yours. So I feel like the divine is telling you, um, you know, love what it is that you're doing. Maybe you love something that you're doing. It's a passion of yours. You know, love... My thing is, um, what I'm picking up with love yours, you know, you may have a lot of people who could be um, kind of like really admiring something that you do because it says love yours. So it's like somebody loves something that you're doing or loves something that you do, you know. And um, he's saying in this song, there's no such thing as a life that's better than yours. So maybe you have like secret admirers or people who's in like a competition, people who's like, you know, trying to duplicate your style, trying to steal your ideas, trying to, you know, just trying to, um, trying to duplicate something you do. And it's something that you do naturally very well. They love the way that you do it and they see the reception that you get from doing something so well. And so someone's trying to duplicate, trying to steal the idea because what J. Cole says, says in the song is there's no such thing as a life that's better than yours. So someone's looking at your life um, as you being very prosperous. Look at all of the shuffling I did in the prosperity card is still here. So this is your energy. You're very prosperous. Some of y'all are receiving some sort of blessing financially. Like your your the seeds you've planted are harvesting something that you have have really put a lot of time and energy and, and attention and intention to is now it's it's coming back it's harvesting so the seeds that you've planted you know are now harvesting for you and there is a sense of like you know there's like like I said, there's a sense of uh, jealousy. There's a sense of competitiveness. So these people see you as competition, even though you ain't looking at them, you looking past them. And these could be folks that you have already, like, released. Oh, man, the card is upside down. Sorry. I got all the cards upside down. Y'all probably like, can you please, like, turn it over? <laughs> My bad, y'all. But, yeah, so somebody, like, these are people that you've since cleared out, purged, released. So these were toxic people. You discovered they were toxic. That's why we got clearance. But there may still be some folks that's kind of smiling and beguiling. We got Biz Markie playing. Um, just a friend. Rising power king to Biz. Um, but so these were fake friends. These were frenemies. These were people who you thought were your friends. Thought were your, your peoples. You know, thought they were your A1 day ones. But you discovered that they was a little like jelly. You know what I'm saying? So you had to like, you know what I'm saying? You had to like do some poof be going away from me type shit. And and with this broom, the clearance is not just clearing yourself free or cutting yourself off. But it's like, you know, discovering that there was some sort of like hexes, spells, binding um, rituals that were done on you to try to block blessings, to try to um, prevent you from your, you know, succeeding or achieving certain goals and, and, and accomplishing certain things that you have been working on. So there was a lot of entanglements here. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you was very intuitive and also very protected. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of spiritual guidance downloads that you received. So this is just the um, <laughs> intro. This is what I'm picking up intuitively, y'all. But um, welcome, everyone. If you are new, my name is Q. I, too, am a Scorpio. Um, I'm also clairaudient, obviously. I use music. I incorporate it into the reading, and it blends very beautifully. I'm also an empath and intuitive, um, and I this I do general readings. So that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Check your other placements. See what's going on in those areas. Um, and also, this is time. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. So let's go ahead and call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe, 
I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, ascended masters, deities, animal totems, earth mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, Mama Yemenya, Baba Ogun, Baba Orula, Baba Alegua, Mama Oshun, Baba Shango, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energies, number synchronicities, vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mode it be ashe. So with clearance, somebody's clearing out maybe an ex, clearing out a karmic because we got just a friend playing. So maybe somebody's trying to come to you and they're trying to clear out some, you know, some, some, some residual energy that just clinging on. I'm getting a sense it's clinging on. And so maybe somebody's going to be like, look, you said that was just your friend. What's, what's going on here? Like why, why are we having these little third party situations? Why is this woman or this man constantly calling and texting and always in the picture? And you just said they was a friend. So it's like somebody's having difficulties like separating um, themselves from an ex or a karmic. This could be either your energy or this could be, you know, an ex's energy or somebody that could be coming in. With that last reading, I was seeing some of the messages people were saying, you know, I don't want no ex. I don't want no ex. And, um, you know, that last reading was not nothing about an ex. I feel there's an ex still trying to hold on, trying to cling on, but... There's absolutely somebody new coming in. And this new person, Scorpio, is somebody that you all have manifested. So this person is going to come in right. They're going to come in right and exact. But they, they're trying to, um, they're, they are strategizing the uh, a very precise means and method to do so. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, you know, you got somebody matching your fly. And y'all are all in your power. So you definitely are going to attract somebody who's on the same frequency. So I just had a card flop out and it's rebirth. So look at that major transformations and shifts. So just as I was speaking to you all in your power, this is the card of Scorpio. You're all about rebirths, transformation, transmuted energy. This is the growth and this is what's happened. So there's been a death, obviously nothing grows in the dead of winter. So whatever wasn't growing was dead. And you've made that decision to walk away. That's a bonus message. And so we have um, incomplete kisses by Sampha. So something was incomplete in the last connection. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of love. There was a lot of connection. But then maybe there was a lack of intimacy. Maybe this person wasn't as affectionate, attentive. Maybe they weren't as emotionally intelligent. Because it says incomplete kisses, and that's what caused some sort of major change or shift in your consciousness. Consciousness, because you're very emotional, you need physical touch. You need to be, um, you needed, you know, you, Scorpios need that emotional exchange because you are emotional beings. So there's been some sort of rebirth, like you've transformed, you've discovered what you need, you discovered what you like. You're in your power, and this is look at that grounded on the bottom of the deck. So in order for you to have a rebirth, you have to release. You have to let go of the past. You know, you have to be able to heal those past wounds, past traumas. You know, you have to be able to, like I said, release and let go of anything that could have potentially been, you know, um, blocking your blessings. Whether that was people, places, things, even ideas. But I see here now you're grounded. You're more centered. You're in alignment. And this is because you've... You know, you've since let go of the baggage, you've let go of the toxic relationships, the, you know, lack of uh, reciprocity or even those relationships that are, um, you know, unrequited, you know, but this is you now grounded, balanced, aligned in harmony, feeling very stable, feeling very independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. You could also, you know, be financially set because we did have that prosperity card open up the reading so you may have received some sort of reward some downloads i feel like when you love to be out in nature and so you receive a lot of downloads a lot of confirmations and a lot of affirmations take place when you're out in nature some of you like to take like nature walks barefooted that's me too i love to I, people look at me crazy all the time because i'll be outside walking for a whole two miles with no shoes on my feet we was just doing that today my son and i and it's a little chilly out there. It was like 40 degrees. And, um, you know, we was out, you know, grounding ourselves. That's the epitome to me of ground. You just being out in nature isn't enough. Sometimes I want to be connected to Mother Gaia to the point where I feel 
the pulse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So maybe that's some of you all. You like to be out in nature. You know, you may have that favorite tree that you go to, that favorite trail, that favorite body of water, that favorite stream, that favorite waterfall. You know what I'm saying? You may be taking a lot of photos out in nature right now, especially with the changing of the seasons and the beautiful leaves and all the colors, the vibrant colors. It just feels very autumn-like. So some of you all are taking a lot of time um, out in nature. You know, you're connecting more to nature. This is your season, so that too assists, you know, with the power. But this is how you were able to heal from something that was incomplete. It felt incomplete. Something wasn't right. It was lacking something. And that's what led to your rebirth because you finally, you know, you were honest about what you needed, honest about, you know, um, what you required, you know. So let's tap in tune and see what's coming and going out, going on with our beloved Scorpios. Who's in the background praying on Scorpios downfall and why? So we already see that you've transformed and that does make a lot of people, you know, jelly when they ain't doing shit on their own. When they not trying to change and evolve and level up, they'll hate on anybody around them making progress and doing what we're all meant to do, which is to be always building, always growing, always improving, always, you know, reinventing ourselves. That's what life is about. You know, if you're 40 years old and you thinking the same and acting the same as you was when you're 20, you done wasted 20 years of your life doing nothing but looking at other people as competition. So right now we have don't come easy. See that? Raheem Devine is saying things don't come easy. This didn't come easy. This transformation, this change, this leveling up, this process that you've been through, the growth spurts, the growing pain, it hasn't been easy. And the divine is also saying love won't come easy either. You got to fight for what you want. Look at this. This is your energy. I keep showing y'all the cards upside down. So somebody's discombobulated. Some of y'all may feel a little discombobulated, maybe a little unclear, you know. But um, with this energy, maybe things are a little topsy-turvy, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like this is your energy right now. Y'all are very powerful. And this is what I was picking up because two of your energies, the power card, very, she, this this witch is, 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 is she gets it popping, okay? She already is very skilled in her craft. So she is a very, very successful, very powerful witch. So she knows how to master manifest. This is focused intention. That's where there's a lot of activity around the crown chakra. You know what I'm saying? So you're very intuitive, very psychic, very clairvoyant. You could be clairaudient. There's a lot of dream activity, perhaps. Maybe a lot of you are picking up downloads, you know, while you're out in nature, as I was saying, maybe even in your dreams, there's a lot of lucid dreaming or activity. Maybe you're connecting with someone telepathically, whatever it is, something didn't come easy. You coming into your power, it didn't come easy, but it required work. And it shows clearly that you've done the work because you had to walk away from something that uh, wasn't growing. It was just kind of stuck and stagnant. It was cold. It lacked emotional fulfillment, contentment. You didn't feel fulfilled. You, it was very cold. You probably slept in separate rooms, separate beds. There wasn't a lot of intimacy in that relationship. There was a disconnect. That's what I was picking up with incomplete kisses. So maybe some of you all weren't even sexually fulfilled, wasn't even satisfied sexually with your last partners or with a partner from their past because there was a lack of affection, a lack of attentiveness. You know, intimacy is very important to Scorpios. We're not freaking, you know, ho man whores and woman whores like the way everybody makes it seem. It's like they make sex seem to be like the, the, the priority for Scorpios, but it's not. What it is is the sex will, you know, give us more deeper intel about the person we're with because we want to know who we're with, you know, mind, body, and soul. And that intimate, the intimacy connects us on a whole different level. So that's why it's important. It's not the most important thing, but it is important to us. You know what I'm saying? And so for you all, there was a lack of, you know, a, a, a very um, synergetic connection in that form of relationship. You know, maybe it started off hot and passionate and then it kind of dwindled to the point where it was like sex was non-existent, which clued you in on the fact that there was another person. But we see clearly that you have been able to take your power back. You're in a very powerful position. This card has repeatedly come out in the past four readings I've done. 
So this is just telling me that y'all are powerful and that's why you got people hating and praying on your downfall. You could probably um, be burning like spiritual candles, protective candles, and you're seeing like this black soot build on it. Maybe some of y'all have had candles like, you know, completely crack. And a lot of people will tell you, you know, that that will insinuate that there was, you know, some sort of hex or some sort of spell work or someone like sending some bad juju your way. But that also tells you that whatever you're doing to uh, protect yourself has returned that shit right on back to sender. And that's what a lot of y'all are doing. You're doing a return to sender. You, you know, because you're you're picking up everything vibrationally. Like this is it. This 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 energy here. It's like you feel energy. It's like your antennas are are very um very sensitive at this time. You know what I'm saying? So you're able to pick up on energy very easily, beloved Scorpios. So that's why this rebirth is here. This is power. This is you in your power. The rebirth. So that's beautiful. I love it. So we have just forget. Who is this by? Force of nature. And it's called Just Forget. So, yeah. So, you know, I feel like a lot of you all, because it says force of nature. So this was a part of, to me, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up like this was predestined for you to go through this so that you can come back into your power. Because you was in a relationship that was kind of like, for whatever reason, it was like you were passive. I just see you as being more passive and not in your power because power is so press, is so prevalent right now. So that means that you were lacking it previously and now you're owning it, you're in it, you're using it more now. Bottom of the deck is your overall um, energy. See that? I can't make this shit up. See that? Didn't I just say that some of y'all may have been feeling that like, you know, if you're burning candles, protective candles. So there was absolutely, there's some folks. These are the people praying on your downfall because they're putting some sort of, they're trying, you know. But you're returning to sender, just like I said. So this hex shit, you know, overall energy. This is, it's based off jealousy. You know, it's based off jealousy. It's based off um, envy. You know, and with this force of nature. And then this is, you know, by, um, it's called, the, the group is called Force of Nature. And the name of the song is, um, was it Just Forget? Are you going to show? It's like still scrolling. Yeah. So these are people that you have long, like you've since forgotten about, but they haven't forgotten about you. And it's because whatever it is you do, they're watching, they're stalking, they're clocking. Because remember, I was picking up on secret, you know, like competition, people who's like in secret competitions with you. And so these are people that you've forgotten. You've since forgotten because you've cut them off and out of your life for whatever reason. And we see that also with this rebirth. You know, you can't have a rebirth with all the old, same old energy, stagnant energy around you. A rebirth is when you, you know, there's an end to something and then you start over afresh anew. So it's clear you're having some sort of brand new beginning, brand new start. And this is why people are a little jealous trying to hold you back. These are the individuals that was doing a lot of bad juju because they were really, you know, trying to block a blessing or trying to thwart your plans or trying to cause delays, confusion in your life. And I feel like, you know, with you in your power now, you're able to see all of that clearly. You know what I'm saying? Something was building. You know, the intensity of it was building. I feel like when you was out in nature, because this says force, force of nature. So I feel like when you were out in nature, especially with the grounding card, I feel like you was receiving a lot of divine interventions, downloads, and it was intensifying. It was building. So it was like it was cluing you on what was going on. And see, we got Money Trees here playing by Kendrick Lamar. So there's a lot of jealousy surrounding your finances, your ability to be stable self-sufficient the fact that you don't need these individuals anymore maybe they thought that you was going to be you know um you was going to fall flat on your face and and instead what you did was you rose you rose like the phoenix from the ashes clearly with this rebirth and in in a new beginning that that means there's new start there's new opportunities that present themselves prosperity is alluding to the fact that you're very successful you have financial stability and so this is what they started to do. They started to resort to that. So this is the overall energy. People trying to send, you know, some sort of bad juju away, negativity, evil eyes, people doing spell work, whatever. But you're returning to sender. All right. And you can feel because it says intensification. So it's like you're picking up on this energy. Um, 
you know, you're you're really very sensitive. You know what I'm saying? I feel to what's going on. So, um, who are these people that's hating and praying on Scorpio's downfall? Who are the people that's hating and praying on Scorpio's downfall? What's their energy like? What is their energy? Thank you, spirit. So you may have some folks, you know, within your family, within your friend groups. Because this is about like, this is like lovers. This is like people you were in love ships, friendships, you know, even family dynamics with. Because this, this pentacle is about, you know, this is dealing with like, you know, people with whom you could have been making money with. Could have been like, you know, planting seeds and roots with. And this says money tree. So yeah, these people definitely, these could be people at your job. You might have a couple of haters at your job. People who really like, they hate what it is that you do. You seem to be on top all the time. Maybe something that you, um, some of y'all, like I said, have some sort of promotion. And there's a couple of people who's a little perturbed by your success. Your, the fact that you get a lot of respect, the fact that you're efficient and effective in your role, you know, the fact that you are very well equipped, well informed, you know, you get into that conference room and you know how to, you know, orate, you know what I'm saying? This is, you've garnered the respect of, you know, perhaps the higher, up, higher ups and then there's someone here, you can see they're like lighting this candle and this could be like pretty much that spell work because I was picking up on someone doing like candle magic. And some of y'all may be burning candles and you're seeing like, you know, like I said, the soot build up. And that means that it's being broken down. But you got to if you like burn candles for somebody needs this message. So if you burning like protective candles and there's a build up of that black soot around it. It's breaking up whatever was sent your way, but you definitely need to burn a couple more candles to clear it out because your candle should pretty much be clear, you know, in, um, you know, in essence. So if you have a candle and it's got all this black shit, that's all the, you know, the negative energy that's being, you know, sent your way and called to you. And, you know, this hex, you're banishing it, you know, so a lot of y'all are working on banishment um, spells as well and you're fully aware but there's someone definitely like you see this person like he's really putting intention into this candle and that's what you all need to do to fortify your boundaries call upon Archangel Mikael for protection call upon Baba Ogun for protection or whomever it is that you connect with um, but those two they get busy they carry the swords and so they will chop off anything like karmic cords, yokes, any, you know, even um, generational curses. But you all have definitely, maybe that's what this is too. Maybe there was some sort of generational uh, curse or hex on your family, you know, on your bloodline. And you've been, you know, the assigned, you know, you, you've, you're you the avenger <laughs> in your family tree to, you know, to banish it, to Cut it, cut your, you know, yourself free as well as the generations that come after you. So the person that could be doing this hating, it could be a family friend of, or someone that you, um, you know, a colleague, someone that you are, um, you know, pentacles are in, you know, so this is somebody that you make either you, you work with or somebody that could be within the family tree or somebody that you used to call friend or somebody within your neighborhood and a neighbor. It's going to be some hating ass neighbor. So how did this person feel about Scorpio? There's a lot of feelings. This person feels a lot. And I, and I heard it ain't good things. All right. So see that? <laughs> this is what we had in the beginning. This is what they feel about you. They feel like you are very, very um, powerful. They can feel you clearing their energy. Whatever it is they're trying to do here, they feel that you are like literally returning to sender. This is you clearing the house. Purging, releasing, cutting them karmic cords. This is you being in your power. You know what I'm saying? This is like getting rid of the negativity. You know, this is the clearance. So they see you clearing house. They see you, you know, preparing for something. And with this money tree, they definitely um, feel like, you know, they, you're, you're wrapping up a cycle. You know, because this clearance is like... You're letting something go. You know, you clean in house. Some of y'all could be decluttering, you know, just getting making room for the new. And we have this um, imagination here. So they know you are very powerful. Like they know you, 
you know, when you think something, when you say you're going to do something, they know it, it, it'll be a short amount of time before you man, you manifest whatever it is you said you was going to manifest. Like, they, they feel that you're very, very cerebral, very intuitive, very clear-minded, very intelligent, very logical. They definitely feel you have um, the ability to manifest, you know, because this is that same witch that was on the card with the power. So you have a very powerful imagination. You have a very uh, powerful ability to um, focus your intention and manifest your desired outcome. This is how they feel with this clearance. They also feel and the witch is riding a broom and then there we have the broom. So it's like they see you as very magical, like you know how to uh, protect yourself. You know how to um, manifest what you want. You know how to get rid of things, people, places. Like you are fearless. You're in your power. You're owning your power. And the name of this song is War. So just as I'm speaking of how they feel about you, it says don't let no one get you down. So you're never going to let anyone get you down. You're never like, going to let anyone... Um, you know, you're never going to get the short end of the stick, so to speak, because you're like 10 steps ahead of the game. You're very powerful and you're clearing, you're doing, you're like proactive in terms of clearing, you know, negativity from around you. You know what I'm saying? You don't have just a bunch of fakes around you. So let's see what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios and who pray in with Scorpios downfall. So two cards showed up. So what's hidden in the energy is we have spring. So to me, the springtime is the new year. So what's hidden is there's going to be a new beginning. There's going to be something that's going to bring a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. This is going to be someone who could be coming in or an opportunity that's going to come in that you have a lot of affinity uh, towards. I see a lot of birds. So there could be a lot of messages coming in, communication, maybe a lot of, um, you know, a lot of ideas. Yep, secret. So a lot of you are, um, you're attracting someone that could be, Keeping, you know, their feelings a secret. Or maybe some of you are going to be in a very studious energy. You're going to be in that hermit mode. Or you're going to be like um, in hibernation during the winter months. Mastering your craft. This is very studious energy. The Book of Shadows is what the witch, you know, um, the magician develops. So these are the spells that you've, you know, that you've... Um, that you've used and discovered that they actually work. So this is about, you know, building your wealth of knowledge, growing, seeking higher knowledge, wisdom and understanding in the craft. Something's blossoming in the springtime. I feel there's going to be a new beginning or some someone new could be coming in. And don't let no one get you down. It's like, you know, you're going to be very happy because this is a very happy card. So what's hidden in the energies is you're going to be very satisfied emotionally, very, you know, stable, very content in your own skin. And I feel like you have a, uh, an opportunity to attract someone new. You know, with this war, I feel like you're also, you know, you're learning um, ways to protect yourself, defend yourself, to ward off negativity. And to banish negativity, especially with war and don't let no one get you down. Well, you're definitely not going to let any of these haters, any of these people who are in a secret competition with you get you down. And you're divinely protected. So your ancestors, your guides, your guardians, your ascended masters, your spirit team are guiding you. They're giving you spiritual guidance. And they're also, also opening your first eyes. So Metatron could be really like assisting you. You know, the Ascended Master could be really assisting you with, you know, being focused on your goals and being able to pick up on energy intuitively. Cats are very impervious to threat. So you cannot, um, you know, attack a cat. You know what I'm saying? Lions. That's why the lion is the king of the jungle. You know, that's why they have such large ears because they could hear everything very well and they could see everything and smell you know, their senses are very powerful. So I feel like you all have powerfully, you know, like it's like you, you've you you've owned, you're like you've come into your power, so to speak. And I feel like with this frog, there's a lot of uh, success, opulence, ready and, and prepared. And I feel like with this book of shadows, you're fully aware of who your enemies are. Uh, uh, there's nothing they can do to um, to hide their intention because... 
like I said, you're very intuitive and you're getting the downloads. You're very familiar with people's actions and ability. You're able to pick up on, you know, social cues, body language. You read energy, so you have a very good judge of character. And so next we have um, Swaying My Way Black Party. So if somebody swings your way, you're going to be very, um, you know, you're going to be picking up on the energy. You know, and with this guardian, I feel you're very protected and protective of yourself. So this is powerful. So what's the um, outcome? What is the outcome for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? What is the outcome? And so we have protection. What did I just say? Literally just said it and here it is. So the outcome is you're very protected. You're creating circles of protection around yourself, fortifying the boundaries of your home, setting healthy boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Doing protective spells, learning some new um, protective spells. Like I said, very studious energy. I also feel like your ancestors are creating a fiery wall of protection for you. So the guardians, your ancestors are protecting you because I feel somebody's going to come your way. Somebody's going to swing your way. But this person's going to, you know, perhaps maybe, you know, these individuals are, um, they're coming your way to, to learn something. You know, like I said earlier, it's like these people are like trying to duplicate your style. So they're unoriginal. So they'll try to come in under the guise of being cool, but they're really trying to learn you. And they're trying to learn you. And they're trying to block a blessing. They're trying to send you some bad juju. Because you have respect. You have the respect of your peers. This could be somebody that's also in the practice. That's doing these spells. And they're going to have the, all of the shit they send sending you. Be returned to sender. See this? We got invocation. So they definitely are working with several people. You know, there's a couple of people here. Working together. And this just shows how powerful you are. And that's why you're protected. You know, with this protection card, the divine is telling you to protect yourself. You know, with a fiery wall of protection, circle of protection it is literally like when you start your, your magic or, you know, when you start, um, you know, implementing certain spells or doing certain spells. You're supposed to create a, a circle of protection around you. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of people here because there's four different people. So you could have, like I said, they could be family, it could be friends, it could be, you know, your colleagues, it could be your neighbors. You know, and um, but there is a sense of like them trying to invoke something and whatever they're invoking, you're protected from it, you know, and they're also your ancestors and guides are telling you to protect yourself. So they're going to give you some downloads in regards to uh, the type of spells you need to um, start acting upon. So we got invocation. Look at that. And then we got death. And then we have look at that fertility. So they're trying to block love from coming in for you. This is the death card, which is your energy, Scorpio. So you have gone through something very painful. And this could be like, almost like, you know, it feels like this is like an ex, you know. Or it could be a karmic, I should say. That could be like, you know, sending this. But look, what did I say about y'all being like in that power? Very intuitive, very clairvoyant. There's nothing that anybody could get past you because you're highly intuitive. You're very sensitive to energy. And so I just feel like whoever these individuals are that's trying to invoke something, this could be you too, because we did see that you are, you know, creating a book of shadows. So you're utilizing your magic and you're applying it to, to manifest something in your life. Whatever it is, you know, there, there's a death, which is an end of, of a cycle. And these lanterns, these jack-o'-lanterns definitely shows that you are protected spiritually. And I feel there's going to be a union that develops because the outcome is saying that, you know, there's a very protected, sacred union that I feel a lot of you are coming into. Maybe this is even alluding to the fact that you all being in equilibrium, masculine and feminine side, very, very protected. And this is allowing you to be creative. You're tapping into your creativity, using your magic, you know, ma manifesting. So look at this. Yet another deck and look what's on the bottom of the deck. Financial freedom and success. So you are successfully manifesting opulence, expansion, abundance, and prosperity into your life. It's swinging your way. Trust. If you if you are questioning anything in regards to your finances, when is it coming? Is it coming? Yes. Because you have prosperity on the bottom of this deck, the witch's wisdom. And now you have financial freedom on the bottom of the next deck that I'm using. 
So this is powerful. So this is like triple and double confirmation. Look at this. <laughs> y'all are gonna be like y'all gonna be in the in in and I swear it, like y'all are coming in to a lot of cash. Like your hard work is paying off. It's being acknowledged. What did I say about y'all receiving some really powerful downloads right now? You may be having some really powerful dreams. You're also, with SWV, it says you're always on my mind. So somebody's always on your mind. You did break the yoke. You broke some sort of generational curse, which is why this hex and banishment is here. So you all were assigned, um, you know, you signed a contract, sole contract when you came here. And now you're going to receive the reward. I'm hearing you reap what you sow. And someone is, you know, really always keeps you on their mind. You got like a, a, somebody that's really... Um, Praying on your downfall, just like, like I was saying, like this person is like almost obsessed. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that like you know smiles and beguiles, but this is somebody really trying to steal your ideas. You know, and this says trust issues. It says I've been hurt and afraid to be hurt again. Some of y'all could be attracting new love, you know, because that fertility card really um, shows two uh, very passionate lovers you know kind of like in an embrace so you're blocking out all the negativity all the shenanigans out of your life all the bad juju you're very rare very unique you're different you think different you act different you do you you don't try to do other people you're an individual see that and that's what they hate they're jealous of the fact that you're original that's why I was picking up earlier, like, you know, there's somebody really trying to duplicate your style, whether they're trying to dress like you, speak like you, do what you do. So if you're in a particular field of study, they're trying to do that. If you're in a particular role at your job, they're trying to surpass that because they, they're like, they're, you're always on their mind, according to SWV, you know, you're always on their mind. So they're like obsessively thinking about you. And this is somebody who's like a snake, a fake, very fugazi, you know, very foo-foo type of energy. Look at that. Words are spells and spells bind. Mind your words. And it says, and stay protected. So this person speaks negatively about you. Says very ill things about you. Very things you wouldn't even expect. So these are people that, like I said, smiling and beguiling. Because we had that friend... Um, you said it's just a friend playing by Bismarcky. So these are like fake friends. These are fake, fake friends, whether at your job, you know, people could be sitting on a conference call, just sitting around talking about you. But then when they speak to you, it's all, Hey girl, Hey, what's up, son? What's going on? What's good? You know what I'm saying? Look at that. It's because you're in the equilibrium. You're well ba balanced. This person's like drawn to you. Like I, I was picking up obsession. I'm picking up obsession. So with this synergy, I feel like that's speaking to you being in equilibrium. You know, and you also could be potentially coming into a new uh, partnership, new love ship. Because with this spring, I feel love can sprung. You know, love can be something that blossoms. You know, this is a card of, of new beginnings, as I said. So this is what's on the bottom of the deck. And this is why you had that rebirth. So you went through some real toxic shit. You know, you went through having friends, fake friends, family members sitting around talking about you and then smiling in your face. So secretly plotting against you, you know, saying untruths, lying on you, defaming your character, assassinating your character, lying to people about you. But I feel like, you know, with these people, you was always on their mind. They was You was always, you know, the, the you know, first thing in the a.m. when they woke up, they was going to your channel. Going to your social media, seeing what you posted, going to your YouTube channel, seeing what videos you uploaded, going to your Twitter, seeing where your mind at, going to your TikTok, seeing what you're doing, just just everywhere you are. They're like, and then they're sitting around lying. They they're sitting around. Whoever will listen, they're sitting around talking negatively about you. This is what you had that rebirth from. You you ended that shit because you picked up on the energy. Like you said, you know what? This shit ain't growing. It was very cold. It was like you was dealing with a bunch of like snakes and fakes. And with this death, you know, you, you saw that the connections weren't going anywhere. They couldn't do anything for you. You was the life force in that partnership, in those friendships, in those connections. And that's why they're really frustrated because they can no longer feed off of you. They can't ride your coattail. They can no longer use you. 
you know, to their benefit anymore. With this emotional roller coaster ride, that was the, the generational curse. Going around and around in circles. You know what I'm saying? Repeating cycles. And you finally made the decision. Like I said, you was the one in your family. You was that avenger in your family to break that generational curse. That hex that was on the, on your um, your family tree. So you did that. You got off by changing. You completely shifted the energy when you did shit differently. And so you banished something. So why is the um, hex banishment card here? And we have... Um, Marcus Canty won't make a fool out of you. So that's what you said. There ain't nobody going to make, make no fool out of me. You know what I'm saying? I'll mop the fucking ocean before I let somebody play me for boo-boo the fool. That's what some of y'all was saying. Like, pss, whatever. So this is what we have. Manifest that shit. That's what you did. You you owned your power. So now we see the narrative. That's why the power card keeps showing up. Because that's what you took on. That power of the master manifester. The magician. The alchemist. That's what they do. They manifest shit. They set their intentions, that focused intention. You know what I'm saying? They know how to utilize the elements around them. Water, fire, earth, air. And you banish that shit because you felt energetically. You knew intuitively when you went into those hermit modes. When you created that safe space to, to really heal, to do those deep dives. You realized like something was wrong in, like within you, in your belief system. And you had to change that. And by you changing that, you automatically cut the the karmic cords and broke the generational curses and yokes and so now you know we see this is because you was in your power you started to realize i got the power to change this shit i'm not gonna let nobody you know i'm not gonna submit my will to anyone i have the power to change this whole situation and when you started owning that shit that's when you started seeing shit change look at that synergy now you're in harmony now you're attracting everything that you desire to you that was being blocked. That was being blocked and, and, and you know, you're, you know, and um, delayed because of some sort of fucking spell or hex that somebody was throwing on you. And so now you're back in synergy and you're now attracting everything that you're supposed to be attracting to you. Somebody was trying to make a fool out of you. And that was the last time they tried that shit because... Now you here in your power again. So that's powerful. So why is respect here for how this person feels about Scorpio? See that? They, they, they're jealous of the fact that you have emotional fulfillment. You're happy. You're in a spiritual union or connection. So this, these people that how they feel about you is they see that you have all this respect. You, send, you tend to be very emotionally content right now. This is making them frustrated. Some of y'all are very successful in what you do. You've garnered the respect. You're in a respectful union because it says spiritual union. So you're going to be in a very beautiful, sacred partnership with a partner. And this is going to cause a lot of jealousy. A lot of jealousy and a lot of envy. And I feel like a lot of you are getting the downloads. You're getting some divine interventions, which is telling you, you know, kind of spiritually guiding you in the right direction. But uh, many of you, someone is absolutely, um, you know, doing something, trying to, you know, trying to block something. Because we see here, you know, right there with this candle magic, you know, that somebody is trying to, you know, perhaps this is, like I said, that person that was trying to cause some sort of delay or blockage and so they're sitting here working tediously because they see you with all the stability and you know you're in, in, in um, self-sufficient you're strong you got a lot of coins and on top of that you have love and happiness and you're in a, a, a very um, successful union partnership with someone and this is making someone a little jelly um, but with that won't make a fool out of you maybe somebody feels foolish because they could have you know they could have had you, but they, you know, they chose to go in a different direction. So with this uh, downloads and transmissions, yeah, you, you're getting those um, little nudges of what you need to clean and clear, you know, out of your life. You know, you have to like, you know, some of y'all could be doing spiritual baths, taking spiritual baths. Some of y'all could really be, um, you know, just on, um, you know, like smudging and purifying your home, cleansing your home, your cars. You know, your person. You know. So, 
with you getting the downloads to do that. So why is broomstick clearance here for what's um, hidden? Oh, for how this person feels. Because this is what their, um, the energy. Oh, see, I'm messing it up. This is the energy of the person that you're attracting. So that's what they're, yes, now I get it. They They don't like the fact that you have respect, you know, and happiness and love and the spiritual union. They are perturbed by that. And so they could be doing, you know, like I said, the spell work here. Because we do have that right next to the hex. And so they're trying, somebody's trying to block your blessings. Because that's what I keep getting. And your happiness. And they're trying to stop a spiritual union from um, happening. See that sacred space just flew out. And we have Send For Me playing by Atlantic Star. So yeah, they see you as wish fulfillment. Somebody could be seeing you in the spotlight because that star reference in the song um, is telling me that you could be doing something in the spotlight. And with that prosperity card, and then we saw financial freedom several times, I do feel like, yeah, that's why you could be clean in house. You're making room for the new. There's a lot of abundance. And with this send for me, this is somebody that you may have left in the past. But I feel like you've you've ascended, you've grown, you're receiving, you know, some sort of um, download as to what you need to clear out. It's like they're telling you what you need to clear out, what you need to release, what you need to purge. People, places, and things. You know, so you're doing some sort of, you know, your own little spells. Look at this. Show them how to move in a room full of vultures. And you're showing them that during your new beginning. Because remember, during the, the winter months, everything's dead. Whatever's in growing is dead. So this is you going through a rebirth, growing, evolving. And here, this is a new beginning. So this is that bright future, infinite supply. And you're divinely protected. You know, the divine is protecting you. So why is, um? so it says, standing firmly on your square. I love it. Grounded and balanced. Look at that. So this is what's happening. You're going to be standing firmly on your square. You ain't budging. And because you're standing firmly on your square, somebody's going to be looking at you, you know, in awe because you have stability. Because you're, you know, you're successful. And so they're going to be looking at you like, damn, send for me. Send for me is like, can you come get me? Can I be where you are? And remember, you have that, you know, that secret competition in the background. You've broken the yoke. You've broken the yoke, and that's why, you know, you, you're, you're, you're in your power because you felt it intuitively. You were assigned that role. It's destined. It was preordained. You know what I'm saying? The yoke has been broken. That was the secret. And this is what's hidden in the energy is the yoke has been broken, beloveds. And you broke the yoke. You broke the yoke by, you know, following your own spiritual guidance by trusting your intuition being discerning paying attention to people's behaviors and actions and applying what you've been learning applying your own magic wow you've broken the yoke and now you have redemption here so why is book of shadows the secret what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios Good Lord, 50,000 cards for real? So look at that. Basic instructions before leaving Earth. Seeking higher knowledge. And that's what this is. So you was privately working on this. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't loud and boastful. You knew you could wreck. You knew you could like fuck some shit up, but you was humble. There were some people you could have took down, you could have destroyed, but you was humble. Because you knew you didn't have to. You, have, you didn't have to. Um, use brute force you know what I'm saying and you also knew that you was divinely protected so it's almost like you just kind of like surrendered to the process let the divine handle all of the um, you know all of that and you stayed on your square you remained learning you know you remained focused on the task at hand basic instructions before leaving earth some of y'all was reading um, your scriptures you know, some of y'all were, like I said, building your own um, book of shadows and, and using certain spells and discovering that they worked. So that's what you're freeing yourself from. 
the inconsistencies, the people you can't depend upon, the unreliable people, flighty in and out, people who are giving you incomplete kisses, not affectionate, not attentive, not emotionally intelligent, just use and abuse and then be gone and then come back to do the same thing again. This is like emotional abuse. This is what we call selfish <laughs> when you have somebody who does not have the emotional intelligence to give the way that they expect to receive so that's what you was learning how to get rid of how to banish that type of shit away from you and we got little Kim playing can't fuck with Queen B so they can't fuck with you when you on your in your bag when you in your bag and you doing what you do when you do your magic when you work on yourself they can't fuck with you they ain't fucking with you look at this incubus succubus energy you block that shit out this is what you was dealing with you was dealing with all of that and this is what you used to counter all of this bad juju they can't fuck with the queen bee you're the queen bee you're the king you know what i'm saying you're that emperor that empress energy and they are trying so hard to block what's your birthright. Your birthright is to be successful, is to be and live in opulence, is to have financial freedom, is to have a bright future, infinite supply, no reason to worry. Like that's your thing. And you're selfishly loving yourself now. You was giving selfish, uh, selflessly in the past. Now you're selfishly loving on you now because you already gave. You gave and gave and gave and you gave to people who didn't deserve. One person or a couple of these people, they was like, you know, they was ruled by their phallus or by their box. You know, they thought that that meant power. They thought their box or their phallus equated some sense of power. They was thinking with their, their dick or thinking with their box. Part of my language. And it didn't get them very far. Somebody thought they could sleep their way up at the job only to get fired because that manager that they was that was using them and they were using got fired or got re, you know transferred or you know what I'm saying and so now they stuck in a position that's like lateral it's like there's no growth and so they're stuck but you on the other hand while they was playing these little stupid games getting caught up you know what I'm saying? Getting caught up in the rapture. This is what you call elevating self. Knowing thyself. Learning thyself. Mastering thyself. You mastered your craft. Sharpened your sword. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, very studious energy. Very wise energy. Cerebral. Very intelligent and in tune. While this person is sitting here playing these stupid games. That's what's hidden in the energy. You got somebody who's flighty. Look at that. Guilty conscious. They feel real guilty now. They can't eat. They can't sleep. These people are jealous, man. They're making themselves sick. And it's because they really can't fuck with you. It says good things take time to create. It says patience, young grass grasshopper. So something you're manifesting. You both got three cards. Your energy, I feel what's hidden in the energy is you working on self. And um, the other person is trying to work up a plan to return somebody. You know, to try to return to get something they need. Because this is like the pray and pray on your downfall series. So, you know, there is a level of guilt. You know what I'm saying? Because they, like I said, they, you, somebody got you on their brain all the time. And it's almost like the divine is punishing them with, with these thoughts of you. Because of something they did that was just so, so fucked up. They could have ghosted you all the time. Like with this flighty in and out. This is somebody who ghosts you. Like, you know, they'll be here on the grid one minute, next minute you look up, they gone. You haven't heard from them in, you know, a month. And then they'll pop up two months later and act like everything is cool in the game. You know, so you, this this is what the divine is like now punishing them for that behavior. You know, because that's, that, that's like, like I said, that's emotional abuse. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's, it's really like playing and toying with people's uh, feelings and so look at that this is why I was picking up on this energy somebody is fucking 
Fufu. This is some crazy shit. This is like somebody, this ain't even, this doesn't even have to be like an ex-lover. I feel like this is an ex-friend. And this was never a friend. This was always an enemy. This was always a foe. This is always, that was in a secret, they was always in a secret competition with you, but they paraded around as a friend, only so they could get within your inner circles to learn how you do things, to get in your brain, to figure out how you think, how you move, you know what I'm saying, to like suck your energy. This is like an energy vampire, and this person, you know, because we see this incubus, succubus, which is energy vampire, leechy parasitic type of energy and this is somebody who had the tendency to be in your life out your life in your life out your life and they would come to your life come into your life they would come back in when they needed a, a, a you know a power surge when they needed to get that that reboot you know what i'm saying when they needed to be recharged you know what i'm saying so they would come in this is why they would play this game this can be a lover as well you know this can be an ex this can be a family member you know this is that person that you can't rely on but they know they can always rely on you until you said, um, hell to the no. You know what I'm saying? When you started to, you know, peep gain, you started to become selfish as well. Like, I'm going to start loving me. Self-love makes you more attractive. So now you're cutting shit off. And, and you're patiently waiting because you know something good is coming. You feel it, you know. Spring is sprung. You know what I'm saying? And you standing on your square. And you're not allowing anybody to throw you off equilibrium or out of um, equilibrium, I should say. And so right now, we got J. Cole playing San Tropez. So some of y'all could have took a trip to San Tropez. Or maybe some of y'all, you know, because this is, um, I feel like with this energy here, I feel like you stopped speaking to somebody. You know, maybe you stopped speaking to them in 2014 or maybe something happened in 2014. Mm. But this person here with this crazy deranged, you know, because that 2014, that reduces to um, seven. So this maybe this happened seven months ago. Maybe it did happen seven years ago. Maybe it happened seven weeks ago, seven you know what I'm saying? Maybe this person, maybe some of you with whom this message is for your solar return could have just passed on the 7th of November where you have, you know, some foo-foo foo, foo, foo energy, you know, that, that's very flighty in and out and they come around to suck you dry and then they bounce. And and you, you, you learning a thing or two about how to combat that shit. You know what I'm saying? And you're doing so privately. I don't feel like you're dealing with these people anymore because you discovered that, you know, this is some unsavory folk. And we do see the protection card. So why is this protection card here for our beloved Scorpios for what's coming, for what the outcome is? So we have, look at that, blocka, 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 I think Snata. And that's um, clarifying the protection. So that's what you're doing. You're blocking out all the negativity. That's exactly what you're doing. You're creating your circles of protection. You know what I'm saying? You're also... Um, Creating protective um, means, you know, to to block out any uh, maleficient spirits, energies, entities. So you're very protected. See that? You're an earth angel. And it says, you are my precious. So someone feels um, very, like, this is like an energy of control. You know, obsession, possession. This is like, you know, we already saw the crazy deranged. So they feel that you are an earth angel. They see you as somebody that's, because we did see the rare, the rare breed. So you are unique. You are uniquely made. You do things uniquely. That's why they're like constantly trying to be around you to get the energy they need, but also the ideas. Because I feel like you have very, you've revolution, like you have the ability to revolutionize some shit. To turn it into, like, to make something popular, Scorpios. And we have Somerset, and this is called Take It Slow. So this person definitely, you know, whoever this is that you're attracting, 
because remember you, you you this is what the person that you know who's hating and praying on your downfall this is how they feel so they see you coming into a very spiritual union so you obviously have somebody coming in that's going to appreciate the fact that you are an earth angel because you've changed your vibration you're naturally going to attract someone that can appreciate that and also who's going to treat you right um but on the flip side of that you have somebody in the background who's like in a secret competition you know trying to duplicate your style so these could be people within your job within your family these could be ex-lovers ex-friends these could even be your freaking neighbors but with this for the love of money greed somebody's very greedy and they feel entitled to something that you have and that's only a friend or a family or you know somebody at your job you know like i said somebody could be a little jelly because you've had some sort of um promotion or you got you know a, pay, a bump in your pay you know what i'm saying Look at this. We got the privileged lady, which is the equivalent of the empress, emperor. So very financially set. You're stable. You're secure. This is that energy. You know your worth and value. You're a master manifester. You're very powerful. You know what I'm saying? And this is the type of energy that does not settle. She ain't settling for less. You know what I'm saying? When you know your worth and value and what you bring to the table, you are not going to settle for no foo-foo energy. She's also very spiritual, very powerful, and very loving and nurturing. This 12 breakdown to 3. So I feel like a lot of you have manifested these changes. You know, you are that divine feminine. You're getting recognized. There's an, uh, some sort of um, victory ahead. You know, you have high honors. So your ancestors are, are really celebrating your wins. These people are paying attention to something you're doing and you're getting recognized for it. And not only are you getting recognized by attention, you're getting recognized monetarily. So that's why that prosperity and that financial freedom and success card was showing up because you're getting a, re a payment. You know, there's a harvest. And with the springtime, I feel like something may happen by the spring that this will manifest. There's going to be a lot of happiness. It's like a bright future. And with take it slow, I feel like this has been like a slow um, process. It's been slowly um, happening. You know, you've put in a lot of work. You know, you've been doing the work. When you are learning, it's it's a studious process. It's a tedious process, but the, the outcome, you know, is worth it. So we have thoughts. What did I say about somebody having you up in their head? And these people are thinking about you nonstop, thinking of how to sabotage, how to block thoughts. See that? Words are spells and spells, Brown. They talk about you all the time. Always got your name in their mouth. You know what I'm saying? And all you're doing is living your best life. Like, you you moved on. You like, you know what I'm saying? Like, boop, leave a message, but um, I'm you done moved on. These people are jealous. It could be a masculine, an ex, you know what I'm saying, a karmic, whatever it is. You know, we have um, Cold War playing by um, Cautious Clay. So, yeah, it was a Cold War. And look at this rebirth. So, this is somebody you had a battle with. You know, this was definitely a battle. But I feel like you've won the war because you have gone through a, a major transformation. Whatever you experienced with this person, whatever lies you discovered that they was telling on you, you know, whatever they was doing to defame your character or try to, you know, take away, you know, your credit for something you've been doing. I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, you've 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 overcome this because you you are now going through that startling metamorphosis. And this rebirth speaks to your transformation after the difficult changes and pain. Look at that, the ending, this coffin, it's the death of something. And that's literally what I said. You know, the colder winter is when everything dies. So there was a relationship, you know, that wasn't growing. It wasn't being nurtured. It wasn't being cared for. It may have been from, from, from your perspective, your vantage point, but not from theirs. I feel like you still had passion and love. You know, you were still, you know, investing but I feel this other person that you was dealing with, they since stopped. Or these individuals that you was dealing with, they stopped. It was never that for them. It was always about what they can get. It was always about, you know, trying to take. And I feel like with the words, I feel like they bedazzled you a lot with words. They mind fucked. They gaslighted. They told half truths. You know what I'm saying? Very toxic energy. And it could have had you stuck in... You know, you know, in that cycle, because remember when we was about to um, pull for the hex card, we were seeing the energy of um, emotional roller coaster ride. 
And so that's what people do. They'll use words. Words are spells. And it'll have you trapped. And that could have been something that, you know, literally had some sort of hex on the family. And somebody could have cursed the family. You know, spoke some ill shit on the family. But we see here, everything is returned to sender that send with bad intention. So not only did you return their wishes, their evil, back to them by saying return to sender. But they are, going, you know, something unfortunate is happening as well. This death is speaking to an ending of some sort. So somebody's going to get some sort of karmic ending. Why is this hex here? See that? Manifest that shit. Somebody was trying to block your blessings. They was trying to block your blessings, trying to block your peace, your happiness, your growth. You've manifested it regardless of what they was throwing at you. Whatever juju, voodoo, hoodoo, santaria, black magic, white magic, ritual work, spell work, whatever hexes, whatever they was, whatever they was doing. It was return to sender. You're saying return to sender. That that finger pointing is saying it with like return to sender. You've banished that because you was in your power. They ain't know who the fuck they was fucking with. So that cold war you was fighting. Now you got freedom here singing. Um, you have Denise Williams saying free. So you're freed from whatever that hex was because you banished it because you was in your power. You got the power. You realize that. You was like, wait, hold up. I am power. And remember that power card showed up. So you realize that you were powerful enough to invoke that energy of banishment. And now there's this sudden wealth. Now you're going to be coming into some sort of harvest, some sort of opulence, some sort of expansion, some sort of new financial beginning. And this is why these folks is sick. They sick at the fact that you still have this respect. That people still feel this love for you. You know what I'm saying? When people hate you, they don't necessarily hate you. They hate the way people love you. They hate the way people, you know, um, seem to be drawn to you. That's what people hate. When there's jealousy and envy, you know what I'm saying? I mean, of course, sometimes it could be the way you look. Like, oh my God, she's so pretty. Or, oh my God, her butt is so big. Or, oh my God, he has this dope car. And they'll hate you for them dumb reasons. You know, something superficial. But a lot of times... When it's spiritual warfare, people will hate you because of the way that you're loved. Because other the way other people, you know, have an affinity towards you. And so that's what I'm picking up here. Someone hates the fact that you're loved, that you're well received. You know what I'm saying? That you're likable. That you have a good sense of humor. Because that's what they're doing here. Is they're really working hard, you know, to, to block some sort of bliss in that we saw with this hex. See that? Unexpected income. They're trying to block all of this. All of this says sudden and unexpected. So these are things that you're manifesting. And someone's trying to block that shit from you. Trying to block it. Because they see that you know your power. They see that you are always in your power. And with this 11 here. You know what I'm saying? You have a sense of freedom. You have a sense of peace now. You don't feel so conflicted or confined. You don't feel so blocked. You don't feel... Um, fear the way you may have in the past because that was being projected onto you. Someone was deflecting who they were, how they were, and putting it onto you. So a lot of you may have, that's why you settled for, you know, for the most part. That's why you dealt with these unsavory folk because it was like almost like you couldn't even see your own worth when you got this type of energy around you, talking circles around you, you know what I'm saying? Mind fucking you, gaslighting you, you know, always got some. Scheme and scam, plot and plan, some agenda, some hidden agenda, you know, always thinking of some shit. But this is why the divine is blessing you. You've freed yourself from that toxicity, broke the hex. So this is the reward, unexpected cash. Why is this um, love and happiness, respect, pentacles here for how the people Scorpio, uh, who's praying on Scorpio feels? See that? Look at this journey. These people are at a distance. Maybe they're trying to figure out how to take some sort of action. And then we have this courtship here. So you have somebody who's coming in to court you. This person is making, um, they're like stating their case. Like they're going to travel. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from you. That's what somebody is saying, literally. Like if they got to travel through the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Remember, you had Atlantic stars. So somebody could be traveling past the Atlantic Ocean 
You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, long distance connection. But I feel like there's definitely somebody new coming in. This person is coming in. They're on their way in. And this is what someone is jelly about. The person preying on your downfall. They hate the fact that you have respected your place of employment. You're stable, self-sufficient, independent, self-reliant. They hate the fact that you are coming into a union with someone who is going to treat you like the divine feminine, divine masculine that you are. And that you are now freed from whatever hex and spell that they was trying to cast upon you to block your blessings, your peace, your happiness. Denise Williams, again, is saying free. So you freed yourself from that spell. We already saw that the um, yoke has been broken. Broken. Redemption. This looks like redemption to me. You know what I'm saying? And with this, you know, um, angel, this is like Cupid here. So it's like Cupid is setting this up. This number four is the vibration of that 1111. So you're coming into a spiritual union just as this says right here. A very spiritual union. And this person is going to court you. So you're attracting that alpha male, alpha female. You're attracting somebody who's also been through similar things. This ain't no, you know, they got the 10. They hold, you know what I'm saying? They've been through some things as well and they're removing themselves from it. And they're coming towards you. And they're coming towards you as a whole person. You're going to spend a lot of time in that family room. You're going to build a family, build a nucleus, plant seeds, roots. This 21 reduces to 3. Again, you manifested that shit. So, let's see. So, why is broomstick clearance here for how this person that's praying on Scorpio's downfall feels? Why is this clearance and sacred space here? Divine spirit. Let me get a message of love and light. For these people who's praying on Scorpio's downfall. See that? Message of concern. So you received a message of concern from your ancestors. They was giving you the downloads. Those spiritual nudges. Like look. Everybody that smiles in your face is not your friend. Stop that shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that you know inserts themselves in your business. In your life. Does not care about you. You received a very you know. Painful. You know what I'm saying? And, and concerning message from spirit when you were devoting time and energy connecting at your altars or going to your sacred spaces. You was getting the downloads. You was getting a lot of downloads, transmissions. There was a lot of things coming to you. Things were brought to light. And that's what made you come to the realization or conclusion that, look, it's time to clean house. It's time to clear up this space. Because this is how these people feel. Like, damn, she done caught on to the, to the bullshit. She's clearing house. She's releasing. So they started to get, you know, maybe you, y'all, some of y'all like sent some, some irate messages to some folks. Let them know what type of time you was on. So you sent them some concerning messages. And we got Nag Chama by um Common. You know what I'm saying? So with this Nag Champa, yeah. Nag Champa is in a, um, it's a resin. It's a, uh, I actually sell Nag Champa incense. So some of y'all could be, um, you know, uh, burning some incense to also, you know, clear, you know, your space, you know, to clear your home, to smudge. Incense are also um, very powerful to use in, um, you know, smudging your space. So some of y'all could be doing that as well. But I feel like with this um, message of concern, you absolutely received those downloads, those transmissions from spirit, and they forewarned you about who you needed to clear out, who you needed to purge, cut free, release, let go of. And I feel like for the most part, a lot of it shocked you, you know, because, you know, you was being nothing but good to them folks, you know. You were being good to those people. You really genuinely loved them. Um, and I feel like you were more selfless in the past and had to learn. Um, you had to learn to be more selfish because you were too giving before, too giving, too kind, you know. So let's see, why is this spring here for what's hidden in the energy problem of Scorpios? See that? So somebody's definitely in despair. And these are the people that thought that they was going to take you out. By you clearing house, this is causing them to be in despair. This is why they receive that message of concern. And now they stuck on stupid while you're having a very, you know, beautiful new beginning. You know, things is looking good. The birds are singing. The trees is blossoming. Flowers blossoming. Like, there's growth. There's opulence. There's happiness. There's joy. This is like a new day. This is you and your power. You know, like I said, the spring to me is like the new year. It's the beginning where, you know, the trees and everything starts to blossom and grow again. And it, and it becomes just 
a beautiful new world, you know, and that's why you're being told to stand firmly on your square because things are blossoming for you. And while things are blossoming for you, for whoever, whoever these individuals are, that's like secretly plotting and scheming and scamming, you know, those people are in despair. They're going through a lot of difficulties. They're reaping what they sowed. They didn't use common sense. We have common rhyming. So they're, they're, they didn't listen to their intuition. They thought all of their trick knowledge, all of their games, their scams, you know, pulling these magic tricks and shit. They thought that shit was going to do something. But what they didn't know was who they was fucking with. You know, you was completely in your power. And we got mature men. Now you're attracting people in your life that's on your frequency and vibration. You're attracting a very educated, well-traveled, you know, someone very... Uh, attentive, affectionate, devoted. You know, this is somebody who has their eye on you with this world card. They too have been through great things. They've been through great changes in their lives, you know, but it's broadened their perspective about life, about love, about family, you know, and someone else is going to be really in despair. And the divine is telling you, don't fall for the okie doke when they come back talking about all of the shit they did wrong because we do know. That they are suffering from a guilty conscience because of all the fuckery they did. And I feel like they feel guilty only because, you know, you've since moved on. And now they no longer have access to you in the ways that they did. And, um, you know, they, they, they fucked around and showed that they was wearing a mask. And you cut that ass off and cleared out, you know, cleared house, like I said. You know, so why is this book of shadows here? Ba basic instructions before leaving Earth. Selfish, loving me, good things take time to create. Why is that energy here? We're going to, because this is two separate energies. I feel this is your energy, your sentiment right now. You're being selfish because you've learned valuable lessons. Very studious energy again. You know, learning who you are, learning what you like, learning what you need to do moving forward, learning the type of people you need to stay away from. You know, so that's that energy of learning. So why is this book of shadows, basic instructions, selfish, loving me, good things take time to create here? Thank you, spirit. Mature woman. Can't make this shit up. So you've been growing, just as I said. Learning, growing, improving. This is a card of, you know, someone who's very successful, very wise, very intelligent, very harmonious. Your emotional equilibrium. You're also very powerful, very magical. And that's why you're going to receive a gift. Somebody's going to gift you with something. And we have I Want You, playing by Marvin Gaye. So someone may, you know, come in and confess that they want you. And that's what I was saying with the selfish loving me. When you love yourself, you attract people who know they're going to have to love you the way that they see you loving you. You're mature. So you're going to attract a like-minded individual. You just saw the mature man. So that man is coming in for you. He has his eye on you. And Marvin Gaye is singing, I want you. So feminines, there's somebody coming in that wants you. Masculines, there's somebody coming in that wants you. This is a gift from the divine. This is like the divine saying here, you know what I'm saying? And this gift can be a gift of, like I said, emotional fulfillment as well as financial fulfillment, love, peace, happiness. This number eight that reduce, um, that would tell me that there's like a, a wish that's being granted for you, some sort of miracle that's taking place. And it's because you've taken the necessary precautions to heal thyself. When you heal that self, you love that self. When you love that self, you know that self. And now as this mature woman, she knows herself. She knows who she is. She knows who she isn't. Just like that privileged woman. So this is a very beautiful energy of harmony and love. And somebody's coming in to gift you. I feel the divine is gifting you with everything that you have been praying for and asking for. When you were standing at your altars. You know, when you were praying and sending up prayers, petitions, and writing your manifestation. You know, writing in your manifestation journals. It's now coming. So why is this book of shadows secret? Guilty, conscious, flighty, in and out, incubus, succubus energy here, divine spirit. See that? We got marriage. And then we have mature man. So this is very interesting. So somebody with this, I want you. Maybe somebody was playing hard to get. Maybe there was a runner chaser circumstance. Because now we got the, um, the mature man and marriage. So someone's coming in. The book of shadows. I feel like you're attracting your uh, um, A alike, B alike. This is somebody that's going to speak your love language. I feel this person could be someone um, who had these tendencies. You know, maybe these are demons they're fighting within themselves, trying to be, you know, you know, trying to be honest, more forthright. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, maybe they have a tendency to be kind of like, you know, um, self-deceptive. You know, they dece they deceive themselves and they be maybe they're breaking free from some sort of hex and curse. This could be what's, you know, that your person is going through too because you're both obviously mirroring one another. This is a suit, you know? So you got the mature man and the mature woman. And the song that's playing is I Want You. So this person is going to come to get you. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, they ain't going to stop at... At, um, you know, they're not going to be um, blocked because of this. Maybe they have a karmic, you know what I'm saying? That could be what's hidden also, is they're trying to release this. Because remember, we have this energy here for how they, you know, how they feel. So they maybe, they feel like, you know, they have to clean, clear house. Maybe that's why there was this message of concern, because maybe there's a karmic, you know, that's going to receive a message. They're receiving these downloads, you know that it's time to get let go. This could be your energy as well. Somebody's definitely coming in. That's your spiritual partner. Because we already have the four. Which is the 1111 vibration. With someone courting you. And then we see mature man. Mature woman. But I feel like somebody still has um, to cut free. Cut themselves free for some sort of karmic. So this could be a situation where it was like runner chaser. Somebody was still dealing with some residual energy. And now they're um, you know. But they want you. You know, they want you. And this could be why there's jealousy and envy because this this is happening. And that's why the divine was reminding you, look, good things take time to create patience, young grasshopper. So it's like you're, this is a teachable moment, you know, as well as, you know, something that's like destined to happen. And with high honors, you're absolutely going to be marrying someone. There's no doubt about this. Look at this. Stop playing with me. This is what's hidden in the energy. Y'all don't have a fucking clue. That's what you don't have a clue about is this is what you, you're coming into. And with this love playing by Donald Jones, this love is leading to some sort of celebratory moment. This is victory, success. This could be a marriage. I feel the two of you communicate intuitively, telepathically. You know who this is. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't know who this is, when you meet this person, you're going to feel like you knew this person all your life. That's how familiar this is going to feel. It's going to feel that refreshing. That's beautiful. I love it. So why is protection and blocker here for what's um, in the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? Why is protection and blocker for what's here in the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? Divine spirit, love and light. See that? This gift is protected. You're, the divine is blocking out anyone who could potentially block you from receiving this gift. And you also have change. So see that? Somebody's trying to block your change. Somebody's trying to block, you know, and this is why you are protecting yourself. You know, you're in a very protective bubble because somebody is literally trying to block you from having this, this change and from receiving these gifts. And with um, Donald Jones, this love. And so let's see what else fell out. We had main female. We have toil and labor thief. Courthouse, privileged lady, coffin, and pathway. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I just wanted to pick up on the unsavory energy because everything's been love, love, love. But this love is still coming in. It's still coming in. It's still very prevalent. I feel like somebody is really going to come in and, um, you know, um, once these cycles, because I feel like you and your person, as I've been saying in these past couple of readings, y'all are mirroring one another. You've definitely been manifesting this true love. And that's why it's coming. And that's why you have to be, you know, you got to be ready. You know, that's why it's important to always be, you know, improving oneself, working on oneself, you know, healing from past hurt and pain. So as not to bring the baggage into the new relationship. But I feel like you're definitely mirroring someone. Someone's going to be in despair because you're leaving some folks behind. You're leaving a lot of unsavory um People, you're going to leave a lot of behaviors, habits behind. I want to pull three cards from um, the um, goddess guidance. So we got solace, bodies of water. So, you know, spend some time at bodies of water. That will help to recharge, recalibrate, recuperate your body, your spirit. It helps to heal. That's your element. You could also release. You know what I'm saying? There'll be a lot of downloads that take place. Don't back down. Stand in your power. Own your power. You know what I'm saying? Stand up for what you believe in. Do what you feel. Especially when it comes to love because we got this love playing. What did I say about you all growing very sensitive? So pay attention to your body. Pay attention to your spirit. 
pay attention to what you feel. I feel like being by bodies of water, you you know, being out in nature, as I said also, there's just this very strong, profound connection you're feeling. And delegate. Stop trying to do everything. Stop trying to, you know, be superwoman and superman. If you need assistance, ask for it. And you have a past life love. That's why the spiritual union and that, that um main, you know, that um mature woman and mature man and marriage is here because this is a past life connection. So that will be the reason why you'll feel the sense of familiarity and they got undying love. So there's this love transcends space and time. And that's why. And with this love, it says this love playing by Donald Jones. So this love that you're coming into that's going to blossom, I feel, during the springtime, during the spring months, is um, because this is a past life situation. And that's why you're growing more sensitive in your partnerships, connections, friendships, because you are changing. You're not the same person, you know. So you're attracting, you know, and we saw the change card come out. So as you change, evolve, ascend, everything around you is going to shift and change as well. The divine is going to remove the people that don't serve you and that are no longer, you know, fit to be in your circle. And they're going to replace them with the right folks. And we have, um, he's gaming on you by salt and pepper. And so that's the change. You know, you had to make changes because you was dealing with somebody who was gaining, who was gaming on you. And that's like playing games. You know, that's somebody who's the player from the Himalaya. But you protected yourself, created a safer space, sacred space, a circle of protection, and blocked all of the negativity. You could have blocked folks, blocked their numbers, put your phone on airplane mode, changed your phone. Like, you did some things to, you know, fortify your boundaries. And I feel like that's why you're now being rewarded because you, did the, you took the necessary steps. And like I said, a lot of y'all, y'all flew the high road. Y'all didn't get low. Y'all didn't... Become, you know, become vengeful. You just let the ancestors, your spirit guides, you know, handle it. Your your angels handle it. But this is beautiful. Fertility. Look at this. This is just on the bottom of the deck as well. So you're very beautiful and attractive. Someone is very drawn to you. And I feel like, you know, you're also very self-made. You're very successful. And this is why you have a lot of people that's, you know, particularly like, you know, looking at you like, they're looking at you, you know, like your competition because you just naturally do shit well, you know. So somebody could be coming in trying to, like I said, sweet talk you. Just be mindful of that because he's gaming on you according to salt and pepper. All right. And it's because they like they see you. You got the juice. You got the power. You got sun and wealth. You know what I'm saying? You got marriage here. You are the privileged woman, the mature woman, you know. So the, the the mature man, the you know privileged man, whatever you, you and gender you are, remember it's just energy. But this is what y'all are in, and that's why there's a lot of energy. You're very powerful. You've transformed. You've changed. You've grown. You're in your power. You know your protection. You know you know how to protect yourself, and that's things that people tend to, um, you know, they'll secretly, you know, be in competition because of those reasons. But Scorpio, this is your reading. If you found that it resonated, please be kind. Hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. I love you all. Thank you for tuning in and tapping in. Until next time, Ashe.